Seems we found our goal scoring issue. Forget Ross Stewart. Just got Dennis Serkin up front. Sorted. Dennis Serkin. That's the clip. Um, Dennis Serkin, the hero. There you go. Title of the video sorted straight away. Dennis Serkin, the hero. What a ball. Um, yeah, it's it's one of those where the game itself, actually probably to be fair, it wasn't a bad game. There was chances at both ends. Both teams had opportunities. Um, I think there was some, it might be Michael Walker on the, I think it's Michael Walker on the Athletics said we'd fully deserve the win. Not quite sure I'd go that far. I think certainly a draw probably would have been the right, the right result because West Brom obviously had their opportunities the exact same way we did. But I don't think we should have lost the game at the Stadium of Light personally, but that's just me. Um, but nevertheless, to come from behind shows great character from the boys, actually. And especially given the fact that a penalty that was given against us that really shouldn't have been given in truth. Um, you know, to respond from that was really, really good because it would have been very easy at that point to just go and feel very sorry for ourselves. Um, but yeah, it just goes to prove. Um, I mean, the first half, we were the better team. I think we had the better chances. And ultimately, the first pen the penalty, while you could argue it wasn't a penalty, it came from messing about at the back. When we, and that's something I do wish we'd stop doing. I know that the idea we like to play good football. Don't get me wrong, I like some of the football. I like the football we play in general. But just sometimes we need to be a bit more street smart. And that's still something I think we need to work on in coming games. Because West Brom had opportunities through us doing that. And they had a good couple of set pieces through us trying to play out too much from the back. But... You can't argue with that result. It's a big win. That I, I said before the game, totally not reverse psychology here, but that's the first time West Brom have lost at home in the championship. And again, anyone correct me in the comments if I'm wrong, but I don't think I'm wrong. That's the first time they lost at home in the championship since the 29th of October last year. And that was Sheffield United who went there and beat them. That alone should tell you what a result that is. Coventry, I think, got beat there. Millwall didn't win there. So we're hoping Norwich can win there next week, put it that way. I know Phoebe might be watching this. They're at, they feel the Norwich fans feel they're out of the playoffs. Well, can you beat West Brom, please? That'd be nice and much appreciated. Um, look, to be fair, the, uh, it's weird because I don't want to get me hopes up about the top six, but we're in the top six at the minute now. We're, we're probably not likely to still be there come kickoff before Watford because they, um, Blackburn play on Tuesday, West Brom play on Wednesday, and then Millwall play on Friday. So we need to need a lot to go in our favour. But the fact that for next Saturday for Watford. The fact that I think Watford are, out, are all but out of the playoff mix, I think could benefit Sunderland. And I could, I, if we apply ourselves correctly, I can see us beating Watford. I really can. Um, but we'll wait and see with that one. As for today's game, I mean, to, just talk through the two goals. Dennis Serkin's first one, what a header that is. Meets the cross perfect, well, to perfection, basically. And the header is so accurate the way it loops up at first and then goes in underneath the crossbar, but just too out of range for the goalkeeper. Um, what a header that is! And then the second one um, makes good runs into the box. I don't know how Den I don't know how West Brom allowed Dennis Serkin, our left back, to score twice, but you know we'll absolutely take it. It's funny because the game, because in both the two games, the team who was one 0 up at half time through a penalty ended up losing the game. I know it doesn't really matter, but that's just my weird brain going at it. Um, but it's a huge win. It's one that gets us obviously. In We're going to be at least in the top six for two days. Um, just enjoy it and. The one thing that I do think, and this is one thing where I'm getting hopes up and I don't like it. Uh, I'm blaming primarily Chris Reed for this. Thanks, mate. But um, the one thing is West Brom's fixtures aren't easy. They've got Sheffield United, Norwich and Swansea. Um, sorry. Uh, West Brom, sorry. No, uh, Preston, I think, have got Sheffield United and Sunderland last two games. And there's another one. Blackburn have got Burnley, Luton and Millwall. So they're not an easy set of fixtures for teams. Um, oh, I'm getting hopes up. Right. I'll leave you there because... I'm rambling on too much, but almost it's, it's a great win. Um, it's great just to see the, the spirit and fight back from a sense of injustice with the penalty. West Brom fans, as long as you're respectful about it, let me know in the comments what you think. West Brom are still more than in this playoff mix. Um, the, the, the league's still far too tight to call. Um, the only thing I've just maybe you can see is Coventry getting solidifying fifth. But I said that about Millwall a week ago and look what happened. So anyway, for once we took advantage of other teams for the most part slipping up. As you guys know, I'm trying to get a 5k subs in the near future, and 58% of people who are on the Athletics who watch aren't subscribed, so you can hit the like button and subscribe, that would massively appreciate it, be massively appreciated rather. Yeah, I'm going to go off, join, join the rest of your Sunday, and yeah, see you next Saturday for Watford. See if we can get one more home win before the end of the season. How are the lads?